Hey guys, so today I'll be doing a tutorial on Cheryl Cole's new music video called Crazy Stupid Letter. Cheryl wore this amazing copper, sort of liquid copper, crazy smoky eye, and I absolutely loved it. She wore it two times in the video because she wore it with a nude lip and with a really dark, vampy lip. And I'll be showing you the nude look today. You couldn't tell. So yeah, this is just a really great party smoky eye. It really brings out the green and the blue in someone's eyes if you got that in your eyes. But if you ask me, this would look great with all skin tones, all eye colors, all face shapes, all every it looks good on everyone. See, so yeah, without any further ado, if you want to know how to get this Cheryl Cole crazy stupid love makeup look, then keep on watching <laughs> okay so first things first I'm gonna apply a bit of a moisturizer slash primer and for that I'm gonna use my Mac prep and prime natural radiance in radiant yellow so I'm just gonna take a bit of that and I'll let my face bathe in it then because in all of my recent videos I've only used the um, L'Oreal true matte foundation I kind of wanted to switch things up a bit so today I'm gonna use the Mac mineralized moisture foundation and this is NC 15 this is also one of the foundations I love for a day-to-day -day wear because it's just really uh, radiant and glowy it just gives a beautiful finish and because I've been really liking that mixture with the select cover up concealer by Mac I'm also gonna add this into the mix so these two are gonna go on to my complexion right now and I am going to apply this with my makeup geek foundation stippling brush I love this finish it's absolutely stunning it's not too much it's not too little it gives a beautiful healthy sheen I love this foundation so much okay let's go on to concealer for concealer I'm actually really excited to use this today I learned this trick from Jaclyn Hill so I'm going to take the Mac Pro long wear in NC 50 nothing new here but instead of buffing it in with my fingers or with my Real Techniques Complexion, Miracle Complexion Sponge, whatever. I will be taking the Sigma Tapered Kabuki F86 brush, and apparently this is an under eye concealer, sort of liquid heaven miracle. So, I am so excited to try this out, you have no idea. So I'm going to place my Pro Longwear Concealer under my eyes, just as I usually would, in that half moon shape. And then as usual, to further highlight my face, I'll be taking the MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter in Radiant Rose. And this just to further bring out features in my face. And first I'm going to tap it in with my finger for the most part. And here comes the moment of truth. I'm going to take the F86 and I'm going to blend that concealer in. And I am going to see if all the rave by Jacqueline is true. And god damn it it is true holy shit that's gorgeous i really like how you can get really close to the inner corners without really poking your eyes out it's always plus so the rest of my face with it as well oh my gosh you guys so it is true it does work wonders for blending out liquid concealer or just liquid stuff you put on your face what i'm gonna do now is brows and powder so i'm gonna powder my face and do my brows and for our brows today i'll be using my anastasia brow wiz in ash blonde because it's it's awesome and for brow powder instead of using my anastasia brow powder duo in ash blonde taupe today i am going for a new stigma product this is the brow powder in light and I am really liking what I'm seeing here. So I'm going to try that out a bit off camera. And if you want to see a full tutorial on how I do my brows, you can check in the info box below for a link. Be right back. Okay, so the first thing I, of course, did was prime my eyelids to prevent the eyeshadows from creasing. And for that, I used my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. The first shadows I'll be using are a couple of mixed together. So I'll be taking Cocoa Bear and Mocha by Makeup Geek. And I'm also going in my Sigma Warm Neutrals palette, and I'll be taking russet right there and what I'm gonna do with this is first line my lower lash line with this and really bring in that impact here so from the lower lash line I'm going to drag it up 
And this will be a guideline for where I want my crease to go later on. From that same warm neutrals palette, I'm going into this color right here. This is called cinnamon and I'm mixing these two together. And I'm further defining my lower lash line with that combo and I'm going all the way in. With this combo, I'm also blending it down quite a bit because that will give that really soft, grungy, smoky look. Now with the same colors, I'm going to start going into my crease and the crease was really precise and almost cut in this look so I really want that dark brown to have its place. I don't want it to be too blended but I don't want it to be too harsh either. So slowly but surely I'm building up my crease here and going halfway in. Then I'm also going to take it from that outer corner and bring it to my lash line to create this sort of eyeliner feeling here on the outer edge. Now I'm going to take a small and precise blending brush and going back into Cinnamon by Sigma. With this, I'm lightly going to blend and diffuse out the darkness in the crease above it. So go ahead and blow this out. Now with a more concentrated brush, I'm going back into those darker colors and re-intensifying that entire outer thing we just created. Going back into that palette and taking Sugar Milk and highlighting my brow bone with this. And this is also your chance to really blend out that crease and make it seamless. As soon as I saw the music video and I saw Cheryl looking down, I knew she was wearing Coppering by MAC on top of her lids. Coppering is one of those colors that you recognize immediately. So I'm just gonna take Coppering and apply that all over my lid, meeting with the dark colors here. And I'm also blending that up into the crease here. So it seems as if that dark brown color is connected to the inner part of the lid, but it's actually the coppering. I have no idea if that made any sense. In fact, with a blending brush, I'm just going to take a little bit of the coppering and blend it into my crease, meeting with the dark browns. And you guessed it, going back in with the darker colors and re-intensifying all that. Then because I like that lid to be a little bit more sparkly and intense, I'm going to take a pigment by Makeup Geek, and this is called Vegas Light. And to make this stick, I'm going to take my Illamasqua Sealing Gel. So this is going on first, this is going on top, and then you get that really intense sparkliness. And just pat that all over where you applied coppering. And oh my gosh, can we look at this? It's like liquid copper. To highlight my inner corners, I'll be using a little bit of the Balm's Merry Luminizer. On the waterline, I'll be applying a little bit of my Essence Long Lasting Eyeliner in Black Fever. Um, this is really hard to do on camera because mm, I just want to dive into my mirror and oh, oh, oh god. I am going to dive into my mirror now. And of course, to finish this entire look off, we need a little bit of extreme winged eyeliner. And for this, I'll be using my Catrice uh, Liquid Liner in Dating Joe Black and just make it thick and long and just thick and long. Okay, now it's time for some mascara and lashes. And for this, I'll be using my Makeup Studio Waterproof 3D in Extra Black. And for my bottom lashes, I'll be taking my MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. And then for lashes, I'll be taking my XO Beauty Glamorista Lashes. And I love how full and wispy and girly these are. So this winning trio is going on to my eyes. Okay, so for cheeks, you first want to sculpt and give yourself some warmth. And I'm going to start off with my Illamesca eyeshadow in Heroin. And cut those cheeks with this baby. Crazy stupid. Contour. And I'm also going to do my temples a bit. And my hairline. 
because why not? To warm up my face, you guessed it, I'm using my Illamesca blush in Disobey with a big brush. And just slightly warming up the highest points of my face a bit. Then for blush, Cheryl wore a really nice pinky touch. So I'm gonna mix because you wouldn't be watching a video on my channel where I wouldn't mix a product. So I'm gonna start off with my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Doll Face. And for a little bit of shine and shimmer, I'm gonna take the Milani Berry Amour Blush. For my face highlight, I'm going back into my The Balm Mary Luminizer because I love it. Shine, baby, shine. Oh god, look at that. Oh my god. For lips, you want to go for a really nice nude with a pop of coral pink. So that is exactly what we're going to do today. I'm first going to line my lips using my Lancome Le Contour Lip Pencil in Beige Rose 211. For lips, I'll be taking this MAC lipstick in Off Royalty. And then for the top lip, I'm going to take this Hourglass Nude Number no. 1 Femme Nude Lipstick. Goddamn long name. And I'm just going to fill in my upper lip with this. And then you want to smack. And then for gloss, I'm going to use my NYX Butter Gloss in Maple Blondie. And that just adds a little bit more pink to the look. And that, guys, concludes this Cheryl Cole crazy stupid love music video inspired makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. So for a full list of every single product mentioned and used plus what's on my body, go to NikkiTutorials.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all is Nikki Tutorials. As always, don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you liked it. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I will see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. Hey guys, so today I'll be doing a tutorial on Rihanna's look at the 2014 CFDA award.